It's absolutely beautiful. I'm in love. I can't wait to stream from this baby. What's no signal mean? How do I get rid of these black bars? Why is my game all stretched out? If you love your ultra wide monitor, but have been plagued by some of these issues, today's video will try to help you solve them. This is DIY in five. Hey everyone, my name is Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in five the show where we aim to simplify tech issues in five minutes or less. Today, we're tackling streaming and recording content using an ultra-wide monitor. While an ultra-wide monitor, either 21 by nine or 32 by nine, is great for typical PC multitasking and truly fantastic for games and apps that have ultra-wide support, it can complicate things a bit when trying to broadcast or record gameplay because of the extra amount of software and hardware involved. Today, we'll tackle some of the most common issues. For this video, we'll be troubleshooting a setup using a Windows operating system and OBS broadcasting software, but these troubleshooting steps will be appropriate for a variety of setups. If you're using a one PC, one ultra-wide setup, an ultra-wide monitor can be amazing to help avoid having to have multiple monitors and have all your alerts and software all in one central location. To do this, you'll want to launch your game in windowed mode and in a 16 by nine resolution and use either game capture or window capture in your broadcast software. You'll want to avoid games that don't have a windowed mode if you only have one display. Bummer, but it is what it is. If you're using a one PC two display setup, then the simplest solution is to game on the 16 by nine monitor and use your ultra wide for all your alerts and other software. Then your gameplay is already in the traditional aspect ratio for broadcast, and you can use display capture or game capture in your broadcast software. While that's certainly the simplest approach, we both know you probably would rather game on the ultra wide. So let's look at some options. If you're playing a game that supports ultra wide and it loads up looking great, when you capture that display in your broadcast software, you'll notice black bars at the top and bottom of the screen. One solution is to create a layout that makes use of this space to avoid covering up gameplay. Great. Another solution is to change the display settings within Windows to a resolution with a traditional 16 by nine aspect ratio when you're streaming. So it captures without black bars, which kind of defeats the purpose of gaming on an ultra wide monitor, but at least you can game on it off stream in ultra wide. Another solution is to use a stretch or zoom feature in your broadcast software to alter the image until the black bars are eliminated, but I don't recommend that since it warps the visuals and that was never really intended by the game developer and may end up looking very strange. If you are playing a game that only has a dedicated full screen mode and it stretches or warps the image due to lack of ultra wide support, you may want to adjust the display resolution anyway to accommodate and preserve visual fidelity for the game. If you are using a two PC setup with one display per each PC and a capture card to feed one audio and video into the other, again, the simplest solution is to game on the traditional aspect ratio monitor and keep all other windows on the ultra wide, but that's no fun. If you wanna game on the ultra wide first, you'll need to make sure that your capture card can handle your display's resolution. Both Avermedia and Elgato make cards capable of handling non-traditional resolutions. And at least at the time of recording this video, that capability is limited to internal capture cards as far as I know. If your capture card cannot capture an ultra wide resolution, you can end up with the dreaded no signal error in your broadcasting software. I find it's helpful in a two PC streaming setup to skip your capture cards pass through altogether and have your gaming PC output two displays, one to your capture card and one to your gaming monitor, then mirror the two displays in Windows settings. If your capture card can handle your display resolution and frame rate, you'll then have an ultra wide feed in your broadcasting software, complete with black bars on top and bottom when the displays are mirrored in an ultra wide resolution. Here, you can either make use of the extra space with a creative layout or change your Windows display settings to a 16 by nine aspect ratio resolution while you're streaming to eliminate the bars. Do you currently stream while gaming on an ultra wide? And what setup worked best for you? My current setup is a two PC setup with the ultra wide on the gaming PC and I adjust the resolution to fit the aspect ratio when streaming and enjoy that sweet ultra wide immersion and multitasking when I'm not streaming. Honestly, a content creator's setup is deeply personal and as such, they are incredibly varied. But I hope some of these tips and tricks worked for you. 
Like and share this vid if it helped you out, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.